All right, so now we're going to talk about the Summoner PvE rotation. This is going to allow you to maximize the um, number of times that you're able to accomplish overflow in any given fight, which will increase your damage. Um, and this is not the easiest rotation to pull off, so be prepared to make mistakes, and when you do it's not necessarily a big deal. It just means that you had slightly less damage that fight, and if you are someone that wants to kind of perfect um, playing the class, it'll be something that you will just continue to get better at every day. So the number one thing that we're going to be working on is you are trying to maximize the time that you have the prerequisites um, on any given boss or mob in order to ensure that you always get uh, overflow on your opening. So the easiest way to do this is you're going to want to always open up with your one skill on a mob. So this is after you're going to use your tab, you're going to charge your pet in, and you're going to queue to go ahead and taunt on it. And immediately afterwards you're going to use your one skill, which will allow you to use flying nettles after it lands, and then you will then use your F skill, and then you are going to keep cycling between your left mouse click and your right mouse click um, until you are out of focus and at that point you will then pop your doom and bloom. What this will do is between the dot tick from flying nettles and the dot tick of doom and bloom that will give you a good 15 or so seconds of being able to get super sunflowers which will ensure that you get your overflow at the very beginning of the fight. Let's go ahead and test it out. So one of the things you do want to ensure that you're doing when you are getting overflow, it will be roughly around the time when the taunt on your pet is actually going to be coming up off of cooldown. Um, depending on the boss and how much damage they actually do, one of the other things you may need to ensure that you weave in um, to um, your sunflowers is that you're weaving in your C2 tab combo which will do a power pounce on bosses. Um, most of the time um, this can be done at exactly seven or eight seconds into the taunt which will ensure that the boss doesn't end up on you and you can get off the full um, you know five to nine sunflowers off while you have the overflow buff. So let's go ahead and look at some examples on some of the bosses here in Mission Star. Alright, so the first thing you're going to notice is that we're going to try to ensure that we leave a good um, five or six second gap in between when we're using our flying metals and then we're using doom and bloom and what this will do is ensure that we get um, a nice large window into when we can be getting uh, sunflower stacks. The other thing you'll notice is that we're also going to try to weave in the um, pounce on the boss. Between the pounce, the flying metals, and the doom and bloom you can usually get yourself on a nice rotation to where you're able to get um, sunflower stacks pretty much at all times while you're fighting the boss. Um, this definitely helps once you get your true propane um, weapon and everything above that because you'll be getting a nice chi recovery buff um, from your weapon which will ensure that you aren't running out of chi while you are fighting bosses.
Let's <laughs> go. 